it's time for my January favourites. Oh my god, I almost took the whole calendar down with me, didn't I? Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you wondered, the calendar still lives, I still have it. Um, we'll see a new one. It's the new year, hashtag new year, new calendar. Um, but yeah, I don't film in my bedroom very often because the lighting isn't fantastic. So let me know how you feel about this. I've got like blinds that are kind of halfway down, so it's kind of making this work. Here's my yoga mat. Anyway, welcome to my bedroom. Welcome, welcome. I hope you had. I hope you guys had a fabulous January. Um, I want to say sorry for missing an upload. I had a big old uni hand in, so oh, I haven't put my rings on. Um, but yeah, I am. Wow, Thomas, take it down a notch. Uh, but yeah, I had a big uni hand in, so that's where I was with that. So that's why I'm loading and filming this today. And I've got my beauty pie skincare video coming on Friday. So then we'll be back to schedule programming. Oh God, let me pop them on. Where are they? I know I've got them ready. Hope everything's going well for you guys. I hope this month so far has been, uh, I say so far, today is the 31st. I hope the whole month, the whole damn month, I hope has been fan dabby daisy. Anyway, so I thought, seeing as we're in a new year, I thought I might switch things up a little bit. Um, instead of sort of, well, I have kind of been doing it a little bit anyway, but I think I'm gonna, you know, make it official. I'm gonna call this the January beauty review. I can see it now. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna talk about all the stuff I've sort of been giving a test, been road testing, and whether I do it sort of like amazing, okay, and bad stuff. I don't have that much stuff to talk about this month, so um, I wouldn't necessarily be able to do that with that. But anyway, yeah, I just thought, because there's some stuff that I'm like, it has pros and cons, so it's not like favorites status, but but I still think I should talk about it because I have been trying it. Um, as I mentioned in my skincare video, surprise, I've already filmed it, um, I am going to be sort of revamping my blog, so I will be sort of doing full reviews and swatches and all stuff like that there, um, along with a few other bits and bobs, but anyway, that's enough chatting. Let's chat about something I have been loving. Starting off with this here, it's just the first one I picked up. So this is by Holica Holica, and this is their Soothing Aloe 99% Gel. It looks like a little aloe leaf, how fun is that? Um, but just in general, you don't have to get this one specifically. I got this in my ASOS advent calendar. So it's, I'm assuming, available on ASOS. Uh, Holica Holica? Yeah, they are, aren't they? I think they own their skincare, not their makeup. R.I.P. The Holica Holica BB cream that I loved. Like the sweet cotton BB cream. That was like £4 on eBay. And it was... It was the best base I've ever had in my life. And they've discontinued it. I don't want to talk about it. Let's talk about this instead. Anyway, so again, this is the weirdest thing to start with, but why not? We're rolling with it. We're rolling with it, honey. Um, so I have an anti-tragus, anti-tragus, however you want to pronounce it, this piercing, woo, right here. And if you sort of are eagle-eyed at my ears in previous videos, you might have seen it was a bit angry last month, sort of in December and January. It was a bit, yeah, a bit angry. Um, I think I did a combination of I knocked it and I like caught my hair on it and like went to pull my hair up. So I've had it for a good couple of years now, but it sort of definitely was very tender, etc. And I sort of did like wash it a little bit and it sort of wasn't really helping. But because I had got this recently and it was sort of in my bedroom, I thought, oh, soothing gel. Let's see if it soothes it. And lo and behold, it did soothe it. So whether, you know, sort of the infection, the angriness was going to be going down anyway. I don't know, because I don't think this is an antiseptic or anything, but it's supposed to be like good on wounds. So I was like, cool, like this, I hope will help. Anyway, moral of the story is, is it's no longer angry and it's totally fine. So maybe this is something I will try if ever any of my other piercings flare up or anything like that. Um, but yeah, sort of natural, all great. I think this would also be really nice on tattoos as well. I feel like um, not maybe necessarily like the first couple of days, but like just to sort of soothe them, soothe the skin. Anyway, yeah, so this this worked, it did its things. It soothed my skin. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what's on my lips, I'm a little bit blown out, but well, I'll work with it. Um, it's Sexy Sienna by Charlotte Tilbury and my favorite lip liner of all time, the Milani Spice, the one I go on about all the time. Hang on, is this too bright? Is this too bright? Shine bright like a diamond. Is that better? I think that's better. Anyway, moving on. Um, let's talk about beauty pie. So 
as you probably know, maybe. Uh, recently, I've been definitely talking a lot about uh, Beauty Pie on my channel. Um, hello to all the people that have found me via me talking about Beauty Pie. Hello, hello. Um, but yeah, so monthly, do a monthly uh, Beauty Pie order. And I ordered a few things as presents for a friend. So she's enjoying them, uh, I've heard. Hannah, comment down below how the skin oil's going. Cheers, mate. But yeah, so there's a few things that I've ordered for myself as well. And this is one of them. So this is their one, one What's it, Alice? Uh, it is the One Powder Wonder. So this comes in, I believe, it's called Uberescent Universal. It's a white powder. Now I bought this to see if it was a dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting powders. However, it's not. But to my surprise, it is a massive dupe for the Nars Setting Powder. Now, if you've been around this YouTube channel for a very long time, you will remember that I used to love and use that powder all the time. But, and it took forever to go through. And I didn't repurchase it because, you know, I've got a billion and other one powders. But this is like dead ringer. This is like exactly the same. Again, I know I've mentioned my blog already in this video. Um, but I'm definitely, I want to do like a Beauty Pie dupes video. Because there's so many of their products. Not all of their products. Also, another one that I'm talking about is like a dead ringer dupe as well. Um, but there's so many of them that I'm like, this is exactly the same as this high-end product. But yeah, so this is really, really nice. I believe this would be a really nice powder sort of to have uh, like in your handbag. Let's say if you are kind of desk to discoing it and you sort of want to just take a little bit of makeup with you before you like head out for the night or like go on food or whatever, like after work or you just got a long day. I think having this in your handbag would be like really nice because also it's quite sturdy, has a mirror, so it would work quite nicely for that. It's also universal, so... You know, if your friends are also like, yo, can I use a bit of powder? Not a problem. Um, I do prefer this to their loose um, powder, which I have got. Um, not that that's a bad product either, uh, but I prefer this one, I think. This pressed sort of universal colour. And I've been using it with, as always, <laughs> this very sad looking Sonia Kashuk brush. I, do you know what? Like, because I think, you know, when people think powder brushes, they think something like this. And like these brushes are fine, but I just think this just puts the perfect amount on. And like you can't ever put too much on. I mean, you know, if you want to put more on, you can dip back in and put more on. Anyway, that's how I've been applying it and I've been enjoying it. The other product that I've been trying this month from Beauty Pie is this bad boy here. So what is the official name for this? The Quick Colour Contour Super Gel. Gel Presto is what it is in, <laughs> in French. You know, it always says it in French underneath. I prefer Gel Presto. Oh, Gel Presto Contour Color. That has amused me to no end. I have not read that yet. Anyway, um, I'm using the color number one. Um, and this, I haven't tried the high-end version of it, so I can't comment on its likeness. However, it's it's like that, um, is it Contour Magic Wand by Charlotte Tilbury? Um, where, yeah, like last year she brought out like, the Hollywood highlighter and the quick contour thing. Like this is the exact same. Um, but again, I don't know about like colouring and stuff. As I said, I use number one and it is super duper cool, um, cool toned. So it's <laughs> super duper cool. Um, it is super duper cool toned, so it works really nicely. Um, I actually layer this with a powder contour on top because, um, because I do powder my skin, although this powder that I'm using currently is um, translucent and I just find it, it does work really nicely. I've been using the Luxie Small Contouring Brush to blend it in and I sort of, well, you'll see, um, sort of put it just under my cheekbones and sort of buff it out and it works really nicely. I imagine it would work nicely with the sponge as well, but I also got this in my ASOS Advent Calendar, which, by the way, don't think I mentioned here, but one of the windows, I didn't have anything in and anyway... I'm still bitter about it. But yeah, but I got this brush and so I thought, hey, like, let's give this a go. And they seem to work quite nicely together. Um, and I like layering it and I definitely notice my contour staying on longer. Personally, I like a nice like blended look on my cheeks. I don't like a particularly stark line, whether it's my highlighter or my contour. And I do like to finish off with blush. I will do either highlighter or contour first and then finish off with blush. So it kind of all ties together. Um, and yeah, this I think looks like a shadow is really seamless and is a really nice product um i don't know how long this will last not i haven't run out yet and i've had it a month but because of just the type of product it is 
and also it depends on how much you use because I have like a fringe like I don't like contour my head like I don't contour under my neck or my nose or anything like that so depending on how much you contour I don't know how quickly you'd go through this but maybe you are a fan of the Charlotte Tilbury one and obviously I imagine that's two three times the price so maybe this would be something to look into either way as I said I can't comment I can't compare but I imagine they're very similar and it works really well and I like it I think they only have two shades in that one though as I said I'm number one and as you can see I am pretty pale so um it works well for me so I like that one I'm kind of doing this all over the shop today but um, another product that I've been trying and loving is by the brand Obsession Makeup Obsession I believe this is a subsidiary brand for Makeup Academy and I think maybe like Makeup Academy effectively have a deal with Superdrug so they've created Makeup Obsession which they can sell in boots that's just my personal take on the matter but anyway so um but that being said I thought I'd give them a go and they have like quite a lot of it's also a similar price point to uh, Makeup Academy but I do think they're really um playing into sort of in internet culture makeup like this very much um like contouring setting sprays fun palettes and color correcting which is what I'm going to be talking about so this is their correct in orange I have used like a bunch of type of products like these before like I have quite dark under eye circles um, and it doesn't matter how much sleep I get they're still going to be hanging around um, so I do like to correct them I don't correct them every day because I don't um, and this is like very much like one of those concealer pens and it's fluid before I've recommended the NYX one which is a hard sort of cream concealer in a pot and I guess it all depends what sort of you're after I'm, I think maybe this one's easier because you don't get it necessarily on your hands I've been using a beauty sponge to blend it in and yeah I noticed a difference with these type of things um I just thought I'd mention it like even this color which is quite well I don't know if you can see it like it is quite a dark orange and I think maybe well including myself I was a little bit scared to sort of put that on and then put um foundation and stuff over the top but all I've done is put like even when I just put my tinted moisturizer over the top like it was more or less blended in you'd be surprised as to how much this can sort of blend in and um be hidden with other color products over the top and this is also reasonably priced as well so um because I find sometimes the color correcting that can get quite expensive whereas this it's a boot special so I think it was like maybe three pounds maybe a little bit more than that but something along those lines. I do have a couple lifestyle-y fashion-y bits but starting with lifestyle I want to talk about this candle here so this is the Diptyque. It was one of their Christmas ones and it's the almond smelling one they're gonna have it in does it say on the bottom? No it doesn't. Does it say on the front? Armand Exquise. Exquise. Um, I'm loving French today huh? I wanted to mention this though it may be sold out by now but also it may be in the sale now so I thought I would mention it. And I think with almond, you wouldn't necessarily, like maybe chestnut, like chestnuts roasting on an open fire, you would consider more Christmassy or more seasonal. Um, but this is actually a really nice smelling candle, like because it has like a nice warmth to it. And it's almost like a creamy almond, which I really like. Um, fun fact, I had to clean my walls, um, which we will talk about in a minute. And my walls smelled like bleach. Put this candle on, smell of bleach gone don't feel like I'm sleeping in a swimming pool when um I have this one burning so I mean it's diptyque so you expect it to be quite nice and boy is it quite nice I just thought if you were like hmm it'd still be quite a lot for a candle thought I'd recommend it um I know that they're already like plowing on with their valentine stuff where is my life going I swear to god um but this one is a good one so if you see it on sale I'd grab it if I were you well seeing as I've mentioned it We'll talk about it. So I, it's cold at the moment and we're gonna visit the snuggle zone last but certainly not least. <laughs> I'll let you know what that means in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's cold at the moment and I got a little bit of sort of like mold in the middle of my room, like a bit of damp in my room. And I was like, nope, not having that, not happening at all. So um, I got a bit of sif. Um, but then I went online and I was sort of like what's the best way to to remove mold because I could sort of like wipe it But would it just come straight back and stuff like that? Like I'm not typically au fait with that. Anyway I bought myself one of these now This is by the brand OXO which I personally know as like kitchen appliances But they also do cleaning stuff as well. I found so I got this off Amazon I think it was about four pounds. So this is specifically for grout cleaning like 
scrubbing your glout, glout? Mm -hmm. <laughs> scrubbing your grout and I can confirm it does do that well but also just if your walls are looking a bit ming ming this bit of sith um any anybody like mrs hinch i don't actually follow mrs hinch but i think i should i feel like she's now i have a question about mrs hinch is she neo trad comment down below anyway <laughs> but yeah this is just a really good cleaning tool and i didn't know a specific grout brush existed until a few weeks ago but lo and behold this one's really good like as i said it's four pounds so but i just feel like household cleaning like household scrubbing like detail scrubbing this is good it's fun being an adult eh? anyway i do have some fashion favorites so why not talk about them and i have a pair of shoes to talk about i'm just gonna pick up the one and i'm gonna zip it up these are from pull and bear and i think it's called their zip boots um i have started linking everything down below as well which is something i didn't do for a long time so if you want to have a look at them you absolutely can um but yes yeah, so these are basically like a big chunky boot um but it has got a bit of a heel and a wrinkle to get them off and on um one of my friends asked me if these were the lazy of dr martins and i'm like nah mate they're not they're uh literally i think 40 pounds which is it's not like super duper cheap but it's actually like a really good well-made shoe and when i and also my friend who um very much had her eye on the lazy oaf collection she wasn't the only person who was sort of a complimenting me on these shoes and b thought they were doc martens and i'm like no pull and bear anyway they're also super duper comfy i didn't have to wear them in at all like they just i'm a size five and i feel like they're true to size and they're really comfortable super duper comfortable and i feel like they go with a lot and they're like still quite like slim line so like although i love big huge disgusting shoes like i love big clunky shoes uh, i'm surprised i don't have a pair of dad trainers although i haven't seen like the perfect ones anyway i love big shoes but they're still like slim lines so it doesn't look like too clumpy but it still has like the right amount of clump um and also this type of weather um although today it's supposed to be snowing in lots of places around the uk i can tell you right now it is not snowing in sunny bristol <laughs> but um yeah i would 100 percent recommend those shoes i was yakking on so much about my shoes that my camera died <laughs> but yeah no that i have bought a few like there's other th listen i love shoes <laughs> and i know i have a problem shoes are one of those things that i really enjoy and i feel like they really make an outfit like you can have like a really simple outfit but if you have a jazzy pair of shoes stylish um but yeah these ones 100 percent would recommend and like also yeah they have like a little bit of a heel like they're just they're all that you would want in a winter boot. And again, with the ring pull detailing, I think again, that helps like elongate the foot. And I'm really short, so I could take that. And yeah, just the ring pull. And also it's silver, like I'm a big silver fan. So um, I personally quite like that because a lot of it tends to be gold. Anyway, um, moving on, um, I've got another fashion favorite in the form of a granddad cardigan. Now, when I bought this, I bought this in the sale. I got it from New Look, I think for about nine pounds. Um, but if that one's still not available, there's a dime a dozen of them. And I think they also had them in a bunch of other colors as well, but I went for this camel color. Um, and it's sort of like a cropped granddad jumper. Like it like really looks like a granddad jumper. And funnily enough, as soon as I put, bought it and put it on, I was like, oh my God, I look like Kurt Cobain. And I have not stopped listening to Nirvana. Um, but anyway, um, I just think this is like the perfect winter piece because you can wear it out and like this thing is actually fairly in fashion at the moment like I remember sort of maybe as much as 10 years ago granddad cardigans being absolutely everywhere oh my god we're gonna have a flashback I had this grey granddad cardigan which looked very similar to this um which I left in a coach station I worked specifically London Victoria and I still think about that cardigan. I know I have a picture of me with my old hair. I'll put it, I'll put it right here for you. <laughs> anyway, so this is kind of in the same vein, but sort of more of a, still a neutral color, but more of a sort of warm toned. And this is really great because, again, you can have sort of like quite like a plain outfit or you can wear it with a dress. Like I've been wearing it with like, almost like tea dresses. I think it works really nicely, but also just around the house when it, cause it, again, cause it's cold and wearing this around the house like if you're like oh like i want to put like a jumper on like i want something that can easily take off and on like if say if you're heading out soon i don't i know that sounds like a pit me laziness but hello it's like a dressing gown but outside appropriate 
and yeah I just like sometimes I start work really early in the morning and so bang this on it's like I'm still in McCarty I've slept in it and then worn it the next day out um Maybe I should be turning the internet that, but it's the truth. Anyway, um, it doesn't specifically have to be this one. As I said, you can get them in a bunch of different colors, but yeah, and I also quite like that this one's cropped as well, um, rather than too long, I think. Yeah, it just, I just, yeah, I just like it. As you say, thick knits, this one is from um, American Apparel. But yeah, the perfect winter item, the granddad Cardi loves it. Anyway, so earlier I mentioned the snuggle dome. Now, probably my favorite favorite of this month has been this blanket. Oh my God, oh my God. Anyway, so we've got, got a little bit of a story time. So um, my boyfriend went home for Christmas and when he came back, he sort of asked me, he was like, so I'm from Bristol and he's not. Um, he asked me and he was like, oh, where's B&M Bargains in Bristol? And I was like, told him where it was. I was like, well, there's a few, but here they are. Uh, and he said to me, he was like, so when I was home, my mum and stepdad, they had this blanket, which I just lived under. Anyway, and I was like, I was pretty cold. Like again, there seems to be a running theme with this video and this month, I, Alice was cold in January, 2019. Uh, anyway, so then I was like, oh, there's a B&M Bargains right near my parents' house. So before I went to my parents, like, I dropped in. Lo and behold, have this wall of blankets. And anyway, this was one of them. I wanted a blanket that kind of goes with my room. So I have like these bed sheets and I also have some black ones, which have, um, sort of like celestial things on. So it's like black and white basically. Um, so I wanted something that went with both of them. So I ended up with this one. Now this one's like a little bit more fuzzy and it's kind of like, it, well it is that material, that synthetic material that, well, that my dressing gown is made out of. But also you get the, those fuzzy socks, like it's, that's what it's made out of. Anyway, this blanket, I don't know, I folded it up nice and neat for you guys, but it's the size of a double bed. And what I've been doing is, putting it underneath my quilt and sleeping. And oh my God, it's made all the difference. Like I, cause when I bought my quilt, I wanted a quilt that sort of would work for summer and winter. So I didn't want anything like too heavy. Um, and just adding this layer underneath has made me just like infinitely warmer because also I don't like to sleep with like tons and tons of layers on. I mean, I'll do it if I have to, but I think everybody likes to not sort of be like, the Michelin man in bed. But yeah, so just like with normal pajamas on, this and my quilt, oh my God, it's, it's my favorite thing. You can't go wrong. Anyway, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, it's my favorite favorite. If you take anything away from this video, synthetic fuzzy blankets, oh my God. It's one of those things, I mean, yes, I've also recommended a candle. I don't think I'll put the candle so close to it because I think it would go up in flames in like three seconds flat, but, for its sole purpose, not burning, for its sole purpose of keeping me warm and cozy, it manages it with flying colors. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so that is everything. Not a lot of beauty favorites this month, but, um, but yeah, as I said, on Friday, I'm gonna post my, bye, um, I'm gonna post my skincare video chatting about beauty pie. But yeah, if there's anything that you'd like to see from me for this year, please comment down below. Ooh, also, I'm not going, hang on, hang on one sec. I actually have a documentary favorite, the Bloody Firefest one, which I'm sure you've watched. I've watched the Netflix one. Um, also purely for like the Andy King memes. Oh, I just have it, my housemate and I can't stop. Anyway, so that's a favorite as well. Um, but also I have a podcast um, and we have a schedule. We didn't have a schedule before, but we have one now. So we're going to be posting the last Monday of every month. So um, we've got a new one up very recently. And also if you've never listened to our podcast before and you want to get to know myself and my co-host, that's so weird, of course she's my co-host. Sorry, I just said that and I'm like, oh, that sounds very official, doesn't it? Uh, my co-host Gianna, then you absolutely can, like with our new episode, we're talking about um, what the year ahead has for us if we go solely by personality tests and zodiac signs. Anyway, it's a bit of fun um, and I'd love for you to listen to it. And yeah, anyway, that is everything. And I shall see you Friday with my next video. Bye guys. Oh, I make it fucking weird not coming into 2019. I'm making a pig's ear of this.